In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly renew the licensing on your Meraki equipment. Now, wherever you purchase your Meraki licensing from, you should receive a 12 digit, basically string of characters that you'll need once logged into the Meraki portal to renew your equipment. So make sure that you get that wherever you order your licensing from, once you place your order, they're going to send you an email with that code and you'll need that here. So in order to use that code, you need to go to the organization that you want to apply that license to. So that's a very important part. If you're an MSP or a company that manages or, you know, is an admin over multiple organizations within Meraki, you want to make sure that you have the correct organization selected. And then once you're there, you're going to go to organization on the side here and click on license info. And that's going to bring you to this dashboard screen right here. So what we need to do now is we need to click this add button at the top. And then in this blank right here, we're going to paste that code that we were given. And it should look a little something like this, right? This is the, this is how it's um, in the email. And you can also, if you have multiple, you can add multiple in here, right? If you're renewing a ton of gear, you can add a, you know, quite a few codes. I'm not sure what the limit is, but you can add multiple codes in this box at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my code. And then you're going to click next. And then once you click next, it's going to show you the equipment that is a part of that code, right? The, the licenses that are attached to that code. And from there, I'm going to click next. And then as you can see at the top, it's going to go through each type of equipment. So if you have a switch, if you have an MX access points, it's going to go through each type and ask you which equipment you want to apply that licensing to. So in my case, we're going to apply this to all. And there's actually one that I was given a license code to do separately. So I'm going to unselect that one because you could tell here how many devices that you have, or I'm sorry, licenses that you have available. And then if I clicked all, it tells me how many devices I have selected. So this is kind of where a lot of people and myself messed up first is I selected these and clicked next, but that's actually not assigning the licenses to your equipment. So what you want to do is you want to make your selections on all the devices that you want to add the licensing to or renew the licensing on. Click this here. And then click the plus sign here because we want to add one license to, to each piece of equipment. And then we click select and you can see here that the dates have been renewed, right? We're going to go ahead and click next. And now it's asking us for this type of switch. And we're going to do click the box for all those here. And actually I'll use this as kind of an opportunity in case you want to do it a little bit more manual. If we don't use the select all box, we can click here. And we can add them one by one to the equipment. Click next. And we'll do that here. Next. All right. And if everything checks out, if there's no issues or anything like that, we should get a successful message here. The license have been added and assigned to your devices. So once you click done at this point, everything, all the licenses that were used in that code should be assigned to my equipment and their support dates should reflect a new date of support. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll catch you in the next one.